you know, sometimes I'll meet people on a plane or whatever, you know, I've got my, my fiddle case with me and they'll say, oh, you're a musician, you know, what do you play? I play electric violin and they'll go, oh, gee, we not, I've never heard that before. What does that sound like, you know? I want to change that. You know, the balance of it is to take the classical technique and use that on this new instrument. And, you know, a lot of people haven't heard an electric violin before. It's because it hasn't really been around that long. When I started playing them, I had to build them myself because you couldn't really buy them. It wasn't such a thing. All that stuff, you know, kind of, it, it creates something new that people haven't really heard before. My solo show is a, it's a one-man show, just me and a lot of pedals, you know, and a beautiful light design. I also do a, a short solo version of uh, John Adams' The Dharmic Big Sur, which he wrote for me in Electric Violin Contrary. I just like to mix it up, you know, my influences from Miles Davis to Jimi Hendrix to Brazilian music, uh, Bach, Paganini, it all kind of finds its way into the, into the concert. Yeah, well, with the great big piano trio, we're, uh, we're going down the same road that, uh, that I went down uh, years ago with Turtle Island String Quartet. We were kind of defining uh, a new style uh, and really helping to define the classical crossover genre. It's an acoustic group, violin, cello, and piano. The new CD is uh, called Three Part Invention, and it's all Bach. We're playing uh, some of the melodies from the preludes, from the inventions, from the concertos, but uh, we kind of take some liberties with it, you know? Yeah, the pianist, Phil Auberg, great friend of mine. We've toured together for years with uh, on various Wyndham Hill solstice, summer solstice, winter solstice, 30th anniversary, a lot of, a lot of different tours for, for a number of years. He's an amazing guy. He's as comfortable with Beethoven concerto as he is with Boogie Woogie piano, and he's also a great composer. So he brings a lot to the table. The cellist, Eugene Friesen, uh, won a couple of Grammys with Paul Winter Consort. And uh, he's really one of the premier improvising cellists in the world. The idea of Eclectica was to have something that would really work well in festivals and in clubs, but also would captivate an audience in a performing arts center. So we bring a lot of that to the table. It gets kind of deep, but it's always got a groove about it. I'm really interested in taking it into a new territory, taking it someplace that really nobody's been before. If they've been there already, and if you already heard it, you're probably not really listening the same way you're gonna listen if you've never heard something like that before. And that's, to me, that's the experience that I want to bring people. I want to bring them something new, something that they really have never experienced before anywhere. <laughs> 